Hi friends, thanks so much for stopping by today. I have a really exciting video, at least it's exciting for me because I'm going to finally tackle the whole process of decorating my bookshelves here in my home office. We actually renovated this whole space earlier this year. If you follow my channel, you may have seen little parts of that renovation. I didn't do like one I don't think I did one video designated to that, but I kind of showed little bits and pieces throughout um, in other videos. But today I will go ahead and share with you the transformation and also take you along the whole process of decorating these bookcases. I have a lot of shelves here to decorate, which has been why I've been putting it off, but I'm putting it off no longer. So if you're in need of some inspiration for decorating, maybe you have some shelves that you would like to decorate, I will be sharing some tips and tricks. So I hope you'll keep watching. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I hope you'll consider subscribing if you're new. Let's get started. I'll start by giving you a tour of this room and I'll insert a couple pictures so that you can see what it looked like before we changed everything up. Um, so originally we had carpet in here and there were no built-ins and we had furniture that was just far too large for this space. So I knew that I wanted this room to be very functional, not only as an office, but also so that we could still keep the piano in here and also have a sitting area that we could just relax and have coffee or, or do some reading in this space, just a nice quiet atmosphere. So the first thing we did is we changed the flooring and we pulled up that carpet and installed this wood flooring which is very similar to the wood flooring that we have throughout our first floor and then we built in these bookcases actually my husband built these in he is so handy and i'm so thankful for him because he saves us a ton of money but these bookcases are actually from ikea they are the billy bookcases we bought four units that are the same size and then one smaller unit that way we could have that whole back wall as bookcases um, and he built them in by he built a wood platform to set them on, or not set them on, but to <laughs> secure them to the wall and have them supported on that wood frame. And he also added wood trim in all of the in-between spaces um, by the wall and also between each bookcase. He added trim above and the crown molding throughout the room. And I am just... I love how it all turned out. We're very pleased with it. We did add these wall sconces. These are actually from Amazon, if you can believe that. They were really affordable. I will link them down below in case anyone's interested because I was searching for a really long time to find some wall sconces that would not break the bank. And I'm really happy with these. You can actually adjust them. You can lift them to be higher. Um, the, there's like an arm that comes out from the wall there. So you can adjust it if you want it higher or lower. And my handy husband also installed a switch here so that we can turn them on or off. And I love it. And then at nighttime, it just looks so beautiful. It just gives like some ambience to this room. Um, I cannot say... I can't talk enough about them. I just am in love with them. So we will start with the desk and I'll try to be quick here because I don't want to lose you. But the desk is from either Wayfair or Overstock and I just love the, the look of it. It's more of a modern look, but it's also slimmer so it's perfect. It's not going to take up too much space in here. And I really like that it had two drawers um, so that I can store paper supplies, just things that I need on hand. And then the chair also from Wayfair, Wayfair or Overstock. And um, I just like that it complements the desk. They have similar uh, gold accents on them. And I got this little fur accent piece to put on the back of it. I think this was also from Overstock. Um, let's move on to the sitting area. So I love 
This is like my favorite room to just sit in. These chairs are from Wayfair and um, they're kind of like a velvet, very soft material, but I love that they were really small. They're not overly large, but they're not um, too small. And they're just so comfortable to sit in. It really just hugs you as you sit in it. Um, so I really am in love with these. And um, I like, again, that they have gold accents. So that it just coordinates with the other furniture. This little table I got from Home Goods a while back. I love the marble accent on it. And again, the gold accents just are perfect. And excuse all of these <laughs> stacks of baskets. These are the items that I'm gonna be decorating the shelves with, and I will get to those in a minute. Final piece of furniture is this piano. This was previously my mom's piano, and I play a little bit of piano. My oldest son plays piano, so I knew we definitely wanted to keep the piano in this room, um, so we just made it work. And I do need to get a bench for it eventually, but for now, I've just been using the desk chair. I almost forgot to mention the chandelier. Now, this is from Wayfair, I believe, and I had been looking for the perfect chandelier for quite a while and ultimately decided on this one because I loved the gold accents and the white shells. It just was the perfect color scheme. It matched the whole scheme I was going with. Um, I'll show you a little close up of it here. You can see that these are all little shells. They're just so pretty and kind of whimsical and I just love it. First, I'm going to clear off all of the shelves so that I have a blank slate to work with and can better visualize where I want to put the decor. Um, most of the things on these shelves are the items that were in this room prior to us renovating it. And when I unpacked the storage for this room, I just kind of threw them up on the shelves, not sure where I wanted to put them. Um, and then there's other items that I've been collecting over the months to specifically for decorating the shelves. Um, so I am just going through that now I'm going to put any items I'm plan to use for the, the decor here in the corner of the room and then anything I'm not going to use I'm putting in the dining room across the hallway so that I can go through those later on but my husband is kind enough here to adjust some of these shelves I am decorating with a couple taller items and I needed some more shelf height I'll be whatever Finally, I'm giving the shelves a good dusting and I'm just going over them with a damp microfiber cloth. I didn't want to use any products that uh, might interfere or affect the paint on the shelves. But I want you close. Now that the shelves are nice and cleared, I have a blank slate to work with and I can better visual visualize where I want to put things. The first thing I did was I picked a color scheme. That would be my number one recommendation is pick what color scheme you want to go with and then start gathering items that complement those colors. So since I have a lot of whites in here, I knew I wanted to stick with a neutral color scheme. I didn't want a lot of color that would be distracting to the eye. I wanted it to feel very cool, calm, and collective. So let me show you the items that I will be using. I'm not sure if I will use all of these items, but I have been collecting these items over the months. Some of them are things I've had on hand for years and other things are more recent purchases such as this white face. I actually got this from Home Goods over the weekend and I just love the design on it. And I like that it's this, it's not a shiny color paint. It's like a muted, what's the word I'm looking for? but I don't know what the word is, but I just really liked if that vase, it caught my eye. And um, as you can see, I picked colors that were very neutral. So whites, um, natural colors, and then I do plan to add a couple pops of black. Um, I thought that would just coordinate really well with the rug in here. So I'm gonna add this vase here. And this I actually, DIY'd. I had that vase on hand but wasn't using it so 
I ended up painting it black and I love how it turned out. And then I'll probably use this too. And this is just a bouquet of flowers. Um, it's beautiful, but those will probably be my only two pops of black. And then I also purchased from Home Goods these boxes over here. And I loved that they are covered in fabric. They are a bit wrinkly, so I might have to take a steamer to them. But I like that they have this little um, handle on either side and has this flap that opens for storage. And so I picked up three of this size and then I picked up two of that size. I really had to hold back though because I, I wanted to buy more of them, but it's so hard to like envision how it's all gonna look once you get it up. So I thought I would start with these and if I really liked them and felt like I needed more, then I could always go back and hope, hopefully they would have more. Um, I also picked up these seagrass baskets and I just liked the natural color of them. Um, it came as a set of three. Again, this from, was from Home Goods, and this was about $14.99 for the set of three. So I thought that was a really good price. Um, and I just think, again, it just coordinates really well with the boxes and I like that it's, it adds some texture too. So once I knew what items I wanted to use, it became easier to visualize where I could place the items. So I'm a bit of a nerd and I actually printed out a picture of this room of the shelves. And I just wrote on the shelves like what I wanted to put on those shelves, what I thought would go well on those shelves. So I literally wrote what I plan to put on each shelf just to kind of give me like a roadmap to start with and I can always change it up as I go along. I recommend placing larger items first on the shelves and I was really focused on making sure everything was symmetrical. So if I did something to the right, bookshelf, I tried to mimic a similar sized item and color to the left side of the bookshelf. Um, and that just really helped to, I feel just made all of the decor kind of cohesive and nothing was overly distracting to the eye. Decorating these shelves definitely took a lot of trial and error. I would place something, take a step back, only to realize that's not how I wanted it, and then I would readjust. So you're going to see that a lot here, and um, that's okay though. I actually really enjoy the process of decorating, and I, I look at it as a challenge, and it's just such a good feeling to see the end product of your creativity. I love this little shelf in the middle here. It's perfect for placing little tiny decor items and giving them each their own little showcase, just like a little art gallery. When decorating, I like to place smaller decor items group together, usually in groups of three. And another tip is when decorating with books, since I wanted to go with a uniform color, I ended up reversing the book so you could see the page side. That way there is no um, distraction from other colors. I know some people might be highly opposed to that, but I really wanted to stick with that cohesive color. And I also reversed some of the books, not reverse, but I changed the position of the books, laying some books on their side. I just felt like that gave, it almost made it as a decor piece on the shelf. Okay, so I am done decorating the shelves and I have to say I am quite pleased with how it turned out. I do have some shelves still empty, but I think I'm gonna leave it that way, at least for now. 
I may add some things down the road, but I really don't want to over clutter them. I love how right now they look so spacious and nothing is distracting to my eye. All the colors just flow together and everything's like pretty close to symmetrical. So I don't know, I just really am pleased with how it turned out. I still need to steam these boxes because as you can see, the creases show up pretty well. So I still plan to do that. And I did wanna mention these boxes down here. Now these I got from Walmart, gosh, it must've been early this year, but I love them. They're, they're just so functional. I'm able to store things that I need, but I don't want them out in the open. So but eventually I do want to get a couple more magazine holders that are solid white. I thought it would look nice and also serve a purpose, be functional to put two on this shelf and then two over on the matching shelf on this side. And then way down here, I have my printer and I put it down here so it would be out of sight, but yet still accessible. Now I'm just going to clean up this mess on the desk here. And then I have one more thing I want to do in this space, but I need some assistance from my husband and that is to hang this picture, this artwork, I should say. Um, we got this at the store at home a couple weeks ago and I have been looking for artwork for this wall for a long time. Originally, we had picked out some wallpaper that I thought we were going to use, but I had a change of heart and I wanted to just buy some artwork because I worried I would tire of the wallpaper. So this is what we picked. I like that it's just very neutral and it kind of reminds me a little bit of the chandelier. So I thought, this was the one. So he's gonna help me hang that and then this room should be perfect. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and gained some inspiration and ideas for your home decor. If you have any questions as to where anything is from, definitely leave those in the comments. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Even if you simply want to say hello in the comments, please do so. I love hearing from you guys and I appreciate you so very much. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I will see you in my next video. Take care.